Welcome all. Today in this session, I am going to tell you that how you can write a Java program to check whether two strings are anagram or not. So for this purpose, first understand what is anagram. Two strings are said to be anagram if we can form one string by arranging the characters of another string. It means two strings can be anagram or said to be anagram when both the strings are same in terms of number of characters first thing and the character should also be the same. So here you can say if you take the example of a race and care, both the string contains the characters R, A, C, E. Only you can say sequence is different. So these type of strings are said to be anagram. Now uh, I can uh, we can take the example of uh, first of all if the input string first string is T E A and second string is input S E R that is E A T. So you can say both the strings have the same number of characters like three and in both the string characters are also the same. Both contains T E A. So these uh, E and T are anagram. Now let me take the example of another one where input string one is T E A T and second input string is cat. So here you can say number of characters are equal like three, but you can say characters are not same. In the first string, we have a characters like T E A and second contains C A T. So you can say characters are not same. So T and E T are not anagram. So now let me show you the program here. So this is the program how you how you are going to write a program. First of all, you create a main function and within the main functions. First of all, I will take two input string for input str1 and input str2 to take the uh, two string input. Now, uh, first of all, we will do one thing. We will convert the string into the lower case so that we can compare it because you can see here whenever uh, we try to compare uh, there is a difference between the uh, capital T and small t. So we want in anagram program. We have to ignore it. Oh, okay, so that's why we first of all, we will do one thing. We will convert the both the string into the lower case uh, and we'll store in the again input str1 and input str2 by calling the two lower case function. After that, uh, I have created a if block uh, in the if block. Uh, I'm going to write a condition to check whether two strings are uh, anagram or not. So in that case, uh, in the if condition, I will put a condition. I will put a condition like input string dot length equal equal to input str2 length. It means if the length of first string is equal to the second string, then I will in the if block, I will write a logic to check the second condition means the characters are same or not. If the length of first string is not equal to second string in the else case, I will simply mention input string one and input string two are not anagram. Now in the if block, we will again do one thing. Because the uh, length of the both string are same in that case, we will first of all do one thing. We will call a function to carry array so that uh, input string S, str1 and input str2. I will call the to array function and will store in an array like char array1 and char array2. Okay, so now we will do one thing uh, again. Uh, whenever we are going to convert the array, we will make sure that we will uh, short the array so that the, you can say uh, internally the words are E A T or e, it can be T A A T. So, but whenever we make a short, their sequence will be same. So it will be easy for us so to compare it. So that's why I call the arrays class short method and pass carry uh, carry array one and then arrays dot short carry two. So it will short both the arrays. Now uh, I will do one thing. I will simply call a method of arrays class equals and I will pass both the arrays carry array one and carry two and will store in a uh, Boolean variable results. Now I will write a if block and in the if block I will simply check if the value of result value of result is true. That is if result that is true. I will simply in the if block I will write input a str string one and input a string to our anagram. If result is false, in that case, I will simply mention that input string one and input string two are not anagram. So uh, in this program, uh, it will simply give the uh, uh, output according to our string here. So now uh, uh, let me show you this program uh, by uh, running on my Eclipse. So here you can see input string is uh, T and CAT. So in that case, let me run this and you will see that you will get the answer. T and CAT are not anagram because you can say we are the not anagrams. Now I will do one thing. Let me again, uh, you can say, write this one. In this case, T E A and E A T, T and E T, the answer should be that both the words like T and E T are anagrams. So it is giving the answer here. So if you want, I have just uh, 
uploaded this program on my GitHub repository. And this one, this is anagramsprogram.java. If you want to download it, you can download it also uh, from here. And uh, if you, uh, you uh, for your convenience, uh, I will also paste the program in the description of this video. Now, if you have any query, uh, related to this program, you can put in the comment box. Now, if you have, if you have, if you like the video, you can click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it. Thank you.